What's up, Carlos and Miguel? This is Brett, my music lessons. Today we are talking about a D sharp, A sharp, C minor, and then this is going to actually be a G sharp chord progression. So all we really need to know is it's not so much about the name, it's about pointer finger at the bottom, ring finger here, middle finger above that. You're thinking of uh, strumming the bottom two strings here, and you'll get that third one for free. Then as you move to this next bar position, what I like to do is keep my pointer finger up a little bit high, and that lets all four strings ring out. This is a strum on all four. Slide that up two frets, take off the middle finger. You might notice that you, you might need to bring your pointer finger up a little bit or bring it down a little bit more to get all three ringing out. Personally, I like going up rather than down. And then add the middle finger, not to the second string, but the third string from the top. And there's your fourth chord. So one more time. I'm going to do this with an eight count right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Add the middle finger. Two, three, four, five. Get back to the first chord and then stop. Okay? So that's practicing for success, the whole point being we want to stop before we make a mistake. Um, so now I'll go through it with a four count. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, three, switch. One, two, get back to the first chord and then stop. Okay, the last round of what you're going to do with this song is you're going to do the, the all-out strum pattern. I'll just show it to you guys for now. It's going to go relax, strum, relax, press, relax, press, relax, change, relax, press, relax, press, relax, change, change, and then do one down strum on the first chord again, and then stop, okay? Just remember to breathe, relax, that's all we got. Fine.